up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! I don't know what we're going to call this video today, but uh, we're definitely going to talk about some grip edge. Uh, RPTs, RBRTs, everybody's got a new name for them. Uh, basically, this is a company that's uh, trying to sell a product that's a over inflated you talk about something that you're getting ripped off for at 353 dollars normally 389 keep in fact and supposedly this is on sale for 353 this uh this item right here this for technology so i have the rbrt bits like this and i got to tell you they're absolute garbage as far as fitment and, and usability i absolutely cannot stand these sockets uh these are a little bit thinner They've gotten rid of, but you get into these bigger sizes, you notice how they've tried to transition them down. I, I If you buy these sockets, I honestly cannot tell you how much money you're wasting because there's a better product out there, and it's just a way better deal, in my opinion. And you guys know, if you watch my channel, I'm not a huge fan of gear wrench. Over here on JD, Dis JD D Tico, Jersey Discount Tool, and we're going to look at the bolt biters on his account because, first of all, the prices alone, uh, you have so many options for these things. 10-piece sets, uh, right alone, the 15-piece set, $145. The metric and standard master set uh, is $200 right here. That's all you need right there. How, how, and they, the thing about it is, is if you look at Grip Edge, they literally copied this technology from GearWrench. Absolutely 100% stolen and then added the in the FOR. There's no doubt in my mind. Don't get bamboozled. $199. Are you, are you really willing to pay $150 more for the same Taiwanese manufactured tool that does the same exact thing as a bolt boiler? They're out of line. Uh, I don't know where this company's mind's at, but they're absolutely out of mind. It's filled with a bunch of inflated salesmen who are pushing this. They're trying their best to sell this stuff. And I honestly got to tell you that I've been using the bolt biter stuff, and I am super impressed with bolt biters from Gear Wrench. I have the RBRTs, and I hardly ever use them because these things work just as good. And nonetheless, you can actually get RPTs on Amazon now. That's right. Now they're available on Amazon. $99 for a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 millimeter set. Which, I mean, if you really have to have, these are the only ones that I recommend is these RBRTs, uh, RPTs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that's the only ones that I found that I like that really works from Grip Edge. I think this, right? I mean, boom, shakalaka. Made in Taiwan. Hencho Taiwan. You're... If you're going to pay a premium price for something, I would hope that it would be something that was made in a better, um, in some sort of better technology than what these are. There's there's so many people that got their hands in the cookie jar and this stuff. That's why I feel like it's uh, so expensive. But I just wanted to make this video quick. And uh, I do like the, I will say I do like the nickel chrome plating. Uh, whether or not that's worth it, I guess we'll have to see. But S2 steel pretty much the same as and they don't talk about it in here but i'm sure this is uh and then they call it unique bi-directional control well you know what I could, i've used triple squares and torques and stuff before in a pinch to get stuff out and i know a lot of mechanics have but i do use my rbrt stuff which from mac and i would rather buy it from them for some reason that doesn't look like a very good chrome plating nickel chrome plating in my opinion but uh you guys make your decision leave the comments down in the comment box let me know what you think Hey, don't shoot the messenger. Just giving you some options and letting you know. I'd stay away from this stuff. Uh, I really don't trust it. Don't trust the people that are pushing it for a lot of reasons.